$65 for what? For Kylie? For what? I wouldn't have. But free? <laughs> yes, thank you. Please. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. I feel like every time I start a video with this big, big smile, you already know what's coming. It is my birthday month, and so I do more shopping than I normally do. Who am I kidding? I like to shop, and I give myself a little more leeway during the month of my birthday. So, I have another haul for you guys. And this one's a little mishmash of stuff. I have Sephora, Ulta, Drugstore, Marshalls, and then some other stuff that I've picked up just from like independent brands. So I can't wait to show you guys what I got. But before we get started, if you're new, I'd love to invite you to join the family. So please click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see the products that I hauled, I hope you guys are not getting tired of this because I'm having fun and I'm having fun sharing it with you. Then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so to start, I want to show you guys this little container I got. This, I've been looking for something to put my products in whenever I'm storing stuff for a haul or carrying stuff back and forth from my bathroom. So this little case, I don't know what it's called. This is the bath collection. It's just a little storage container that I found at Marshall's and it was 10 bucks. So I just thought it was cute. I love the holographic design. And yeah, so some of my stuff's in here and then I have a box. We'll go ahead and start with the box. This is the other stuff that I got from Marshalls. First thing I picked up is this NARS Inferno eyeshadow palette. This was $29. And honestly, I don't know if I had even seen this before, but I just, I think I picked it up because it was NARS. I have another eyeshadow palette by NARS. Y'all know I love my um, Skin Deep palette. I think it's called the Face Palette. Well, it's eyeshadow, but I also use it for my face. But so this one is just strictly for eyeshadow. This is the packaging. Absolutely gorgeous. And then when you open it up, these are the shadows. So I don't know if this was holiday or when it came out, but I just think it was pretty super glittery. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Let's, I'm gonna do a couple quick, ooh, that is super glitter. Wow, I don't have any pressed glitters and these are gonna be messy. We'll definitely need to get a glitter glue to use with these. Well, I have one. So these are some of the shades here. These first two are the glitters. So as you can see, super glittery. This is the black. And then this other shade here is the shade here, which is more just like a topper. So I figured the more neutral tones would be pretty just because, I mean, how hard is it to make those? So I wanted to show you what these glitters look like. I don't use glitter a lot. So that will definitely be interesting, but yeah, I just picked it up because I like getting higher end products at a discount when I can. The next thing that I picked up is another eyeshadow palette. This is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi Finish Eye Palette. This is in the shade 860 Extravagance, so it comes in this little box. I do have one other Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette like this, and that's it. Um, I got more of a neutral one whenever I first got it and I think I got it at a Sephora sale but this is what the packaging looks like I do know that this one was limited edition mainly for the packaging you see the black and the gold this is what the shadows look like this is so gorgeous it's warm tone black and gold like the colors match the packaging so I just thought this was really nice and the other shades that I have are more warm. So I just wanted to try. Y'all know that's gonna be my answer for everything. These are a lot softer and smoother than what I just felt in the NARS. And these shimmer shades in the middle, these glitters, 
they actually look more foiled than they do glitter. So I'm really happy about that. These feel nice. So those are the shades there. So I thought that was nice and I paid $19.99 for this one. So I think these normally run about $50. So again, y'all know if I can try something high in at a discount, we need to do it. We are here for it. The next thing that I picked up also by Marc Jacobs, I found the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. This is the cherry one that came in the cherry set. I wasn't interested in anything else that came in that set, but I had been looking at getting one of his highlighters. Everybody was dying for this cherry packaging. I honestly could care less, but whatever. I'm just here for the highlighter. This is so pretty. It looks like almost like a rose gold. Y'all know we gonna swatch it. I can't do swatches this whole video. It's gonna take forever. So that is it there in the middle. Sorry, I still have eyeshadow that has not wiped off, which is a good thing. And then we'll swatch this. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is it right there. So this is probably going to be more like a... It's still going to be blinding, but it's not like going to give that silvery icy cast. It's a nice warmer kind of peachy gold. Love shades like this. The next product I have is the Kiko Milano Smart Essential Face Palette. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you guys. The Marc Jacobs... Um, Highlighter was $16.99. I feel like I don't see a lot from Kiko anymore. I don't know. I think I remember a while back they had this one eyeshadow that was like the most blinding ever highlighter that people were using, but that was it. This is the packaging. It's very nice considering I only paid $5 for this. And then this is what the inside looks like. So it says it's a full face palette. So there's blushes and then a bronzer, a contour, and a highlight. That highlighter looks kind of similar to the Marc Jacobs, honestly. It's not as gold. It's more of a, I don't think that contour is going to be dark enough. Probably not. But honestly, I think I looked at these blushes and I was just like, whoa. That's just a few of the shades there. So you can see that contour in the middle. It's not that dark, but it'll do a little something. And then this is the highlighter on this side. So I just thought it was a cute little face palette. Might be something else that can go in my travel bag. I can swap something out every now and then. The next product that I have, I found two more of my Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. I found the shade Pink Sky. So this one's more of a cool toned pink. So this is it right here. My other one is a mauve, the mauve sunrise, so it's more of a berry. Oh, that's pretty. I should have watched, wiped my swatches off. That is very pink. That is it down here. I know that it'll build nicely on the cheek, so I'm not concerned about how that looks, but I think it'll be gorgeous for a cool toned look. And then the other one I have, I'm wondering if this is going to be more like my Becca Mineral Blush and Songbird. That one is more of like a bronzy kind of nude. This one is called Blurred Buff and I saw it and it reminded me so much of that. So this is what the shade looks like right here. And then let's see if this is actually even gonna show. I hope it does. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> I mean, it shows a very tiny, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Eh, that might be a miss, but I can still, I can gift it or we'll see. I'll have to try it on, but I was hoping it would have a little more color payoff than that. And I don't know. We'll see. The next thing I picked up is this Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Dark Neutral and it says... Uses a tinted primer or layer under powder or foundation. So it's an all-in-one. It primes, perfects, protects, and hydrates. Has a healthy glow, dewy finish, no creasing, caking, or settling. 
shake well, tap on with fingers, and blend. I keep forgetting to tell y'all prices. Both of those blushes, okay, the pink one was $7.99. The nude one, buff, blurred buff, was $8.99. And then this was $14.99. This actually might not be bad. It doesn't look very neutral, but oh yeah, it does. Ooh, that's pretty. That's the shade there. Doesn't really have too much of a smell. Oh, I love that shade though. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know how that works for me sometimes, so. I can't wait to wear this. I'm wondering, I don't, I would, I don't, wouldn't use this as a primer, but I think under like a powder, it might be really, really pretty. So I'll keep you posted on this one. And then I picked up this Moda crease brush. I like their brushes and this was $3.99. So I always pick up brushes when I can find them on sale just because I know they can be really expensive and I'm really bad at washing my brushes. Eye brushes, I will dip them in my Cinema Secrets and I will keep it moving. Face brushes, I just, I let them pile up till I can't deal anymore or till I start running low and then I'll wash them. So yeah, this is a nice crease brush. It's a little dense, so I feel like it would be better for packing in your crease, which it is a crease brush, but more for like packing right on the outer corner and in the crease and then kind of blending it out versus like I have fluffier brushes that I use to kind of diffuse better. The last thing that I picked up is the Dashing Diva Magic Press Press On Manicure Nails. This is what the nails look like. They are a silver kind of foiled. They're all the same. There's no accent color in it, but I might pop one on from another pack that I have. Right now, I just have my Color Street nail strips on. As you can see, I hope it's showing. This is actually a multi-chrome. So it goes from like a blue purple to like this teal color and it came with the accents on it. These are my nails, but sometimes I like a little more length. So then I opt for these. All right, so now we're moving into the big box and we will start with, I picked up a few items from CVS just because guys i had a coupon so i go and i use it first thing i picked up is this wet n wild mega last liquid cat suit this is a new shade i hadn't seen before called toffee talk 972a i just love this like grungy kind of brownish purple shade i'm not gonna open this because i don't want to swatch it right now but yeah, I hadn't seen this shade before. I do love the formula of these, so I decided to try it. I also picked up the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. This is in the shade 8416 Mocha Honey. This is what it looks like. I've heard good things about this foundation. I've just never tried it. And I felt like the shade of this would be perfect for me. So we will see you guys. We'll see that in an upcoming video, but... That's what that looks like. And then just because if you haven't seen it in a video yet, I got everything squared away with my car and I did get a new one. I'm super excited. I'll put a picture in. I don't think I've showed it yet. This is my new baby, Vanessa Simone. Yes, she has two names. And I honestly picked her for the color. I am not even going to lie. That blue screamed at me the minute I saw it. So special thanks to my my best friend, Boo, my boy, my dude, Keon, for helping me find this car because I literally was just so overwhelmed. And he was like, please let me help you. I love doing this. And then he sent me that car, literally. So the car is this color. And <laughs> so I just was like, I need to find a nail polish that matches that I can use. So... I didn't want to spend $10, $15. I don't normally wear shades like this. So this was like $3 or something like that. But the color is perfect. So that's why I picked it up. Next, from Sephora, I ordered when... I think they had like sale on sale or something, guys. I don't even know. But they had some stuff on sale. So, of course, I literally go through their sale stuff like every other day. Because I want to see if there's anything new that I want 
or something that I've been waiting for or whatever. So I did get all of these on sale. One of the things that I got was this gift with purchase. This is the Lancome Edol Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara. I've seen a lot of reviews on this and I've heard good things about it. So I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to buy a full size one because it is expensive. So I just ended up, um, I think using a code to get this as a free gift. The next thing I picked up is the Kevin O'Quam Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. This is in the shade Deep EF14. They had this on sale as well as their, his balm, the foundation balm. And I looked at reviews and I heard the foundation foundation balm was bad. I'll go ahead and do a quick little swatch for you guys. This looks like, yeah, it's one of those um, air pump kind of things. I don't know if this is really how watery it is, but this is the shade right here. I think this is a good shade. I was nervous because I watched a lot of reviews and it was just really hard to tell. I don't know if this doesn't have a bad smell. I don't know if this just needs to be shaken up, but this came out like really watery. So I will be doing a review on that, but y'all know how I've been getting all excited about finding high-end stuff on sale. So that is one of the purchases. The next three things that I have are eyeshadow palettes. Um, one of them, I don't, I kind of looked at it when it first came out and I wasn't sure I wanted to get it because I was just like, you have palettes that have colors but I also love the eyeshadows from this brand, so I just pulled the trigger. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. I believe I got this. It was on sale for half off, and it was normal $50, so kind of made me be like, okay, even if you're not going to use it a lot, you can have it in your collection, and it's not going to be full price because we try not to pay full price. So I'm sure you guys have seen this. These shadows are gorgeous. It's like neutral heaven with some beautiful pops of color. And it kind of reminds me of like soft glam with a pastel twist, if that makes any sense. So I can't wait to use this. I'm not sure when I will because your girl has been hauling so much stuff and we got a lot to talk about, but these shades are just, they're beautiful. And I was glad to be able to get it on sale because I didn't want to pay full price. The next two palettes are both from Huda Beauty. I picked up the Amethyst Obsessions and finally got Khaki Haze. The Amethyst one I swatched in the store when it first came out. And y'all know purple is my favorite color. So I was immediately drawn to it, but I was just like, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't want to spend the money on it. Do not get it. And then it was on sale for half off. And I was like, yeah, let's just go ahead and grab it. Because you swatched it, you loved it. And now look how dark and vibrant those colors are. Isn't she gorgeous? That middle shade though. So y'all know y'all are going to see a purple look coming up soon. Now this Khaki Haze palette, I saw it. I thought I wanted it. And then I was just like, no. You have enough shades like this. We know you love olive. We know you love khaki. We know you love neutrals. You don't need to get it. And then it went on sale. And yeah, that was the end of that. I know you've seen this. But I just think this is so gorgeous. I've thought it since the first day. And I just told myself not to spend the money. And... I can't tell myself that when it's on sale. So I would love to do swatches for you guys for this, but I don't want this video to be forever. So we're just going to try to roll through it. Next, we are moving on to Ulta. Honestly, I placed this order at Ulta because they had a flash deal where it was if you spent, I think, 50 bucks or 30 bucks. I don't even know, but it was like less than 50 bucks, I think. Um... Then you got the Kylie birthday, which one is this? Yeah, birthday sipping pretty palette. So I actually got this as a free gift. I had actually decluttered all of my Kylie palettes, so I don't have them anymore. And now I have this one, so at least I will be able to do a video with one. I don't know how this palette compares to her others, the nine pan ones. I think they're nine pans. But this has a lot of neutrals in it with some pops of color. So I think it's a good variety. 
nothing fancy with the packaging just black cardboard but this kind of reminds me now that i'm looking at it of the amrezi palette huh i don't know what came out first but this is what the shades look like i think it's beautiful i just 65 dollars for what for kylie for what i wouldn't have but free <laughs> yes thank you please the rest of these items I picked up because I did want to try them out and they were on sale. <laughs> the story of my life. But I wanted to make sure I had enough to get the Kylie palette. So I picked up an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. This is the um, bullet formula in mint. You guys have seen this before. This is one of my favorite lip scrubs. So I just picked that up to make my total be what it needed to be. I also picked up one of their putty blushes. I have not tried these yet. This is in the shade Bali, Bali, whatever. Um, but I heard these are a good dupe for the NARS ones. And I've been loving cream products lately, putty products. It feels really nice. Ooh, I like that shade. It's almost like a brick red. Oh, and it's not too pigmented. Like, it looks really pigmented on my on my finger, but then it's like a nice wash of color. So that is going to be really pretty. I also picked up, I got this also as a free gift. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Lip Color in the shade Sweet Mulberry. This does not look at all like what I thought I saw. And honestly, I don't know how much I'm going to wear this. Y'all, this color... I'm going to swatch it just because I want to see. I have not swatched. That is a cool... Ooh, uh-uh. I'm not going to wear that. I might try it just to do something different, but on my lips, though, this does not look anything the way it looked on the website. So I'm super disappointed about that. If I would have spent money on it, it would have went back. But I got it as a free gift, and I don't know if I could bring it back. Maybe. I might try because this shade, uh-uh, that is too gray, too purple not my jam at all i also picked up the it cosmetics lash blowout salon volume lift mascara this was on sale i think it's normally 25 or 30 dollars it was on sale for 15 dollars so i wanted to try it i've heard good things about it i like mascaras that volumize and lengthen and i've heard good things about this one so figured i'd pick it up while it was on sale i will keep y'all posted but i'm not opening it right now because I have a lot of other mascaras open that I'm trying. The next thing I picked up, I know I got this on sale. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I actually might have got this from the drugstore and I think it was like 40% off. I don't know, but this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Eyeshadow Palette. Ultimate Utopia is the name of it. I picked this one up mainly because I wanted to compare it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I've heard that this is pretty much a dupe and I have the subculture. So I wanted to see if it was true or not. And honestly, I love how this looks. And I just wanted to compare the shades. And also, it looks like some of these shades are a little different. So I could come up with all kind of excuses. I love eyeshadow. I've been eyeballing this one and I got it for 40% off. So yes. I got it. The last two things I picked up from Ulta. Super excited about these. This is from the brand Minted. They are finally in Ulta and I've been wanting to try their stuff, but I just suck at shopping online. So I picked up their foundation stick and I picked up their bronzer. So the foundation stick I got in the shade M20. I did not think based on looking at the shades online that this was gonna match me. And it looks a little dark. I'm going to swatch it real quick just so you guys can see if you're curious about it and you want to know what your shade is. It's a little dark. It's not horrible, though. That's actually kind of how... Mm, that looks dark. This is so frustrating because they have it. I'm going to keep this shade. I'm definitely not going to go lighter than that. But they don't have it in stores. You can only get it online. So I'll have to try it out and see. I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Y'all have seen me with stuff darker than this. So I think it'll be fine. But it does have a very kind of slippery texture. It's not like dry at all. So 
hopefully it will be hydrating and not dry my skin out but it looks good so far i just don't know how it wears i'll do a wear test for you i also picked up their bronzer i've seen so many reviews and so many people talk about how good these are i got the shade yacht life i almost went for the darkest one i don't remember which one that was because i just knew in my head i needed to and thank god i didn't because this is dark enough and it is pretty yeah definitely dark enough this is a bronzer not a contour shade so definitely has the right tone to it and yes just enough depth so absolutely gorgeous that color is atrocious <laughs> that is so bad oh they lied that doesn't even look like a mulberry the last two things that i picked up from ulta are more brushes these are the Real Techniques Limited Edition Cashmere Dreams brushes. Honestly, I picked these up because of how they look more than if I know they're going to work. I do like Real Technique brushes, but these are just beautiful. It's a pink chrome, and this is the highlighting brush, and this is the contour fan. So I didn't want to get just a standard like blush brush or anything like that. I wanted to get something more face specific than the stuff that I have already. So I think I love buying highlighting brushes if they work well. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighter brush. I also love my Morphe highlighting brush. The e.l.f. tapered brush is a little, oh yeah, this is going to be beautiful to highlight. Look how flimsy. So it's more like a pink satin. It's not a gold. Like this is more matte. It's not too shimmery, but I love this is going to be. Ooh, yes. Perfect for highlighting. And then this contour brush, I think it's more just for the shape of it. I normally just use an angled brush, like an angled blush brush for contour, but oh yeah, this will be good. It's kind of like a pinched ferrule, so it's narrow here and then it gets wide. So that'll fit right in the hollow right there. This is going to be perfect. And it's cute. All right. We're down to the wire. Last few things that I got. Oh, there's one more thing from Ulta. I picked up another nail polish. This is in the shade Audio Bad Nails Chow Great Nails. It's like a purple, but it kind of has, I don't know if you guys can see. It kind of has like a slight, it's not a multi-chrome, but almost like a la more lavender reflect in it. I just thought it was a pretty color. And so it was on sale for $2.30, normally 11. So I just wanted to try that out. This was one of the favorite things of the haul. I finally got the Uoma Beauty Black Magic Eyeshadow Palette. I have been stalking everywhere for this thing. It has been out of stock everywhere. And then I kept getting emails from ASOS, which I've never bought from them. And they had a sale on their makeup. Now, they think they're slick because they had this listed on their website for $60. But it was 30% off or something. So I ended up paying around $40 for it. That's the normal price. So I basically paid full price for this. But I wanted this so bad. Y'all look at these colors. This is so beautiful. And I've seen people do reviews on it, but I just, I had to have it for myself. That feels like a glittery kind of topper shade, the shade Allure. Enchantress is this yellow gold. That feels really dry. And then we'll swatch one of the mattes, Lush, and we'll swatch the yellow. So those are some of the shades right there, but I was just, I was intrigued by Allure because it almost kind of looks like it has a slight reflect of something different underneath. But I just think this palette is beautiful. Y'all know olive green. I love it. And that deep purple in there. Like I just, I had been wanting this palette. So I jumped on it as soon as I could get it. I also picked up some lashes. I ordered these from... Oh my goodness, I can't even lie. It's a website I never ordered from. I ordered a, they had a bundle set for a wig glue, a wig glue remover, and a wax stick. Then when I was on the website, I saw that they had these lashes and they were on sale. These were like $5 a pair. 
So I've kind of been trying to branch out since I'm getting a little hair queen is the name of the website. Since I've been getting better with applying lashes, I wanted to try some different styles, y'all. These lashes are so big and obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to wear them. Oh, this is not my style at all. I'm trying to branch out, but baby, remember, we don't, <laughs> that's not for me. First one is this INV Remy 3D Invisible Band. This is in the style KREI05. These I can work with. This looks like me. I think they're gorgeous. They're a little fuller, a little longer than I normally do, but I love the shape of them and hopefully this band isn't stiff. I just like that they look more curly and more wispy and it's like it has more hair, so I don't know. So I feel like it'll still be dramatic for me, but it won't be too crazy. This one is in KREI02. This one is very similar to the last one, except it's not as thick. So this is more my style, but super cute. Still probably a little longer than what I normally wear, but I can deal with length. I just, I, I struggle when they start getting bulky. This next pair is called Professional Dainty Prima Lash. This is in D37. Again, similar style, wispy, long, not too thick. These look super wide though, like I'm probably gonna have to trim it. I think that's what it is. Like these aren't just flat with one layer of curls. Like they are very, let me see if I can open this so you guys can see what I mean. I don't know if that is even going to show up. But when you look at it from the side, if you can see how they kind of... Oh, I don't know if this is showing good enough. They're just so fun. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. So you can see it's not just like a straight line. Like it has layers of wisp. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. But anyway, that's why I wanted to try them. Now, these last ones here, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, so we're going to go from bad to worse in terms of... I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't know what I was thinking. This first one... This is the KLEC06. This is the INV brand again. This one's not horrible. It is just really long. Like way longer than anything you've ever seen me buy or wear. So I don't know. This is in this is just long. It's not too thick, but they're long. So this one might be okay. Might. <laughs> This is KLEC09. This is in the L curl pattern. These are thick. They are long. But I'm wondering because they're kind of clustered if maybe it'll be a little different. Oh geez, I don't know. I just don't want to have a hard time putting them on. That's what I'm scared about. These last ones. I'm going to try, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. This is the KLE C01J Curl. Y'all, this is so thick. So thick. Like, you can't see almost any spaces between the lashes. I do not own a pair of lashes like this. And I feel like they didn't look that long on the website or that thick, because I honestly wouldn't have bought them. So, I don't know. I never heard of this brand, and because they were on sale, I was like, let's give it a try. But this is by far the most extreme lashes I have ever... I think these are the most I've ever seen in person. Yeah, that's a lot. Ooh-wee. And then it's a thick band. It's very flexible. This is also that multi-dimensional effect as well. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> I can't do nothing but laugh at myself. I don't make no sense. I will keep y'all posted on these, but baby, that's a lot of lash. That is a lot of lash for me. And last but not least, I told you guys I had another one coming, and then I found another one. These are more Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. This first one, 
I fell in love with when I saw it and felt like I needed to have it immediately. I think I got this one either off of Poshmark or Amazon. And then I went into the store and they had it in the cosmetics company store for less. So I'm going to try not to buy them unless I see them in there. This is in the shade Photosynthesex. Y'all, this is so pretty. I mean, okay, so think about what you just saw in the Uoma palette. Literally same. And this color up here is a duochrome. Oh, it feels so soft. I love shades like this. This almost matches my nails. Look at that. Okay, Tom Ford trying to hop in the duochrome. So that honestly is the main reason why I got this palette. I ain't even gonna lie. This green is pretty. Let's check this. Oh, that brown is more like a crease shade for me. That's not very dark. So those are the other two shades there. Still pretty. That green is very dark. So... I just, I love the shades of those. Y'all already know I did. So as soon as I saw it, when I started looking at all the different um, quads that he had, I was like, oh yeah, that one's right up my alley. I'm trying to decide if I want to pick up African Violet, I think it is, the one with the orange and the purple, and also Pretty Baby because of one of the shades in there. I don't know yet. If I can find them on sale, I will probably grab them, but if not, I definitely ain't paying full price for them. The other one I picked up is Last Dance. I saw this one. I almost bought it on Poshmark and then I found it in the store. So this is what this one looks like. I heard amazing things about this blue and then this color is like a dark green but it's more of a neutral kind of olive green. This is also a bit of a green but this blue also matches my nails. Look how gorgeous that is. And then the green, yeah, that's a pretty green. And then I figured this will be more of a transition shade, but also a green. So those are the shades there. And then I'm gonna put the blue next to the one from the other. Oh yeah, this feels like it has a little purple kind of shift to it. Come through Tom Ford trying to show some colors. And then this is the other green. This one's definitely more of a satin muted, like a moss. And then this other one's more like a khaki kind of gold. So those are the other two shades here and here. You can barely see that one, but the blue kind of is like, why did you decide to throw a blue in there? But I like it. Mainly picked that up for the blue, mainly picked it up for the price. I'm on a mission to have a little collection now. So that is it for this haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll probably see, <laughs> you'll probably see some more hauls because I feel like I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in. I ordered from Ulta and Sephora. That might be the only stuff that I'm waiting for, but I know, oh no, I did get the Menagerie, the Fight Club palette. And then I also picked up one of the others, the Feral palette. So that's what this one looks like. I can't wait for those to come in. But yeah, we will have some more hauls. It is my birthday month, so I'm kind of wilding. And then I'm going to chill out, I think. I feel like I say that all the time, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, we'd love to have you stay. Become a member of the family. Hit that subscribe button. I don't know what I'll post next, but y'all know two videos a week. It'll be coming soon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.